Richard, in the last few minutes, Sabina Higgins has commented on this controversy. What has she said? She has, and despite the fact that some uh, senators and TDs have been calling for her to apologise or to clarify her situation, uh, she says that she has, uh, from the outset, strongly condemned the illegal Russian invasion of Ukraine. And she describes it, she says she cannot be anything but dismayed that people would find anything unacceptable in her comments in that letter to the Irish Times, uh, in which she made a plea for peace in negotiations when the future of humanity is threatened by war global warming and famine. She says this was purely written in a personal capacity, uh, that this was very much in keeping with what she has done since 2014 in putting uh, things which she's written in a personal capacity on her personal section of the Aorus website. She says this was the same. People had asked her about the letter she had written to the Irish Times, so she put it up there. And then she says uh, once she had um, seen the commentary that this was somehow uh, being taken as an official comment from the Aorus, she subsequently took it down. So uh, no apology, uh, no real uh, clarification on some of the substance of the letter, but effectively underlining her fa the fact that she believes uh, this is um, an illegal invasion uh, of Ukraine by Russia and she strongly condemns it, but not resiling from any of the uh, other elements of that letter which she wrote. OK, Richard Chambers, thank you very much for that.